It's time! It's a heavyweight showdown between Bruce Lee and Darren Till. All right, so here's the former UFC welterweight title challenger, Darren Till. This guy is all action, all systems go, huge fan base, very fun to watch. First time he tasted defeat, though, was in his first UFC title fight against Tyron Woodley. Valuable lessons gained, and he looks to put those to good use here tonight. As you continue to beat guys like Donald Cerrone and Steven Wonderboy Thompson, you earn the opportunity to fight guys like Tyron Woodley. And if it doesn't go your way, you go back to the drawing board and you get better. And I am confident that Darren Till will do exactly that. He's a very, very talented young man. He's a young man that's even wise beyond his years and thinks as a fighter that's much more seasoned than he may actually be. Seems to have mastered the weight cut at this point in time. We'll see how it goes for Darren Till here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, Darren Till. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big power from front land. Now he gets back to range. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. It's a good right hand right there. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Till. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Oh, big elbow. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the trouble. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. You can't take many of those. You better check. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Nice punch there by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? What a land there by Darren Till, DC. Every time the gorilla throws and lands, you hear those oohs and ahs from the crowd. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand punch with the clinch. Three minutes now, round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Liver kick, if you take those kick, you got to shut your body off. Jill gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, nice. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's, he's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Good series of strikes by him. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He lands a big knee to the body. Till gets the tie clinch here. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. He punches one. Nice punch there by Lee. Single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. What a body kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Ooh, head kick lands. Still gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Nice kick. These guys are going out. Oh, combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Oh, man, these are starting to hurt me, and I'm not getting punched. Just continual punishment with that hook. I mean, how many times can he land this strike before his opponent understands that he has to protect himself? It won't take many more. He better make an adjustment. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Hill's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh, big shot lands. Final seconds here in round one. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. 
That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, effective strike there by Till. Oh, a little single collar tie there. with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes it's the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Beautiful body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Beautiful body kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches. More of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow, who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they can ever miss that shot. And that's what we're witnessing tonight. Oh, strong punch there by Till. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. Single collar tie now. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break it? Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Down into his mount. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight, and, and he certainly made it count in that exchange. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Till. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big head kick land. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Kick to the body by Till. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. 20 seconds left. Till gets hit with a kick. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Big straight left. 
All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Till's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Relax, relax. That's not the clinch position. Picks it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Good stick. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Big leg kick land. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Nice strike. Oh, elbow to the head in the clinch. That one landed flushed by Till. And they separate. Oh, nice combo right hand. He lands the head kick. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Big roundhouse now, just misses. All right, he engages in a single follow tie here. Unable to land with that punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Fun. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight. Straight punch lands. And he landed the right hand there. And he oh, comes through with a big knee. Got the single collar tie. Back and forth we go. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. That knee might have landed there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Big kick. And that one certainly found the target. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Lee. Battle for position here. Big head kick land. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. 
This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. And they separate. With such a Whoa! bad leg kick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Waning seconds here of round number three. Whoa! How about those five minutes? Great work last time. You knocked him down. You show him you have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is now underway. DC, Ready? any major takeaways Ready? after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. What a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's poor blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Real nice body kick land. Oh, collar tie. Good punch lands. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Till's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Now they're both throwing with power. Oh! Nice kick. All right, less than three minutes remain in round two. Single collar tie now. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh! Strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Darren Till. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big oh. legs. He's out! Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness! <laughs> Point strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. 
and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 24 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.